What's going on everybody? This is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com Right now I'm playing Amy by developer Vector Cell It's a downloadable game you can find on the Xbox Live Arcade and on January 17th I believe it's coming out on the PlayStation Network I think it's 1200 Microsoft points Could be wrong I did get a review copy so I want to use that disclaimer so I do thank them for the opportunity to give me this review copy and allowing me to do a review. But this is not a full review, this is video game reactions. Amy. And here I'm gonna commentate while there's dialogue going on and there's minimal spoilers. So right now he's asking her for her number. He's trying to pick her up. Don't be afraid. He was just and she's just telling Amy, hey man, okay. and he was right. sometimes a guy got to do what a guy got to do. And Amy's yeah, looking at her thing. like, okay. Now here she gives Amy a gift. And in the game, she goes, this top of the line, whatever it is, because she doesn't even explain it. But she can color, she can draw on this particular oh, tablet. It's but what strikes me really, what makes me amused here is that she hands her this top of the line tablet but it's not gift wrapped this is during the time of Christmas Hello? and she picks up this weird looking phone really poor design if you ask me so I cut to the after effects of what happens Amy, as I stated I'm not gonna Amy, where are you? put spoilers I don't want to spoil it for you guys so it's a survivor horror and she lost Amy, as you can figure. Oh my God. She's looking for Amy in What's this train. Here you see dead body and a pole or a kendo stick. Really doesn't explain how it got there. There you have a syringe that you can help to heal yourself. And uh, Without going into spoilers, something happens and people become infected with some type of either disease or radioactive chemical or something. I haven't reached past chapter two yet. Amy. So right now she's she? uh, looking around and the gameplay mechanics are pretty, uh, how can I say this? Uh, they're bothersome sometimes. There are times where I'm bumping into things. I'm running. You'll see me sprinting here. Not in this particular scene right now. I'm going to fight a zombie. And they're, and they're going to teach you how to combat these hybrid zombies or whatever they are. So it tells you, hold on, uh, a combination of buttons in order to dodge their attacks. And then hit them with this wooden stick. That mysteriously dissolves them as you kill them, so that's some powerful shit right there. As you can see visually, it's nothing to write home about, but it is very dark, very gloomy. There's a lot of ambient noise going around. That gives it a nice atmospheric, uh, some flavor. It, it definitely feels somewhat like condemned if you remember that game back in the day so I cut back into the train and as you can see I'm bumping into walls I'm not maneuvering the way I'm supposed to and there goes the patented now this particular device I'm not gonna spoil it you're gonna need it for certain things but as you notice the guy's not there anymore it's the train conductor who was asking for her number and he's pissed off because he didn't get it. And she beats the crap out of him. He's ready to bitch slap her. She moves. And he disappears. So right now we're still looking for Amy. And I don't mean Amy from Congo. Even though the dialogue between you and Amy feels like you're watching Congo. Amy doesn't, uh, she doesn't speak, so she has a speech, uh, speech disorder. Now, this gentleman right here, he has a tendency to look 
at your boobs all the time, and you'll see that throughout this video. So I decided to run away from him. You find him uh, in the beginning of the story, and he goes through this whole spiel about him helping you and whatnot, but he's injured, so he lags around a little bit. And here you gotta play a puzzle. You gotta put him in a sequence. You get five turns per try. If you don't get it, it resets, and you gotta do it all over again. Last night, I had to go through this. That's why I'm flying right through it. I should have bullshit a little bit and say that I got the puzzle right away. Would have made me look kind of cool. So there we go. You deactivate the electrical Fantastic. fence that is surrounding the terminal. The and now you're able to go. I forgot this guy's name. It's uh, Da Vinci or something like that. Something weird. He's, he, his character has... And look at him. He's looking at her tits. His character... Look at it. Homeboy cannot get enough for her tits. What the hell's wrong with this guy? He must be from New York. So anyway... He has an Italian accent, straight up New York accent, similar to mine. Uh, he could be from Boston, but the way he was looking at her tits, he's definitely from New York. I'm from New York, so I hope no one gets offended. So here you you uh, miraculously move a pile of crates, Come here. and there goes the pervert. Oh, damn, there really was a little girl. You and he's like, hey baby. Amy. We're the last ones left in this world. It's okay. Why don't we make another Amy? We don't need that one. So you find Amy. And she's thinking, should I have to go take a shit? Okay. We cut to another scene. Because as I stated, I didn't want to... But my friends just call I didn't want to give you guys any spoilers. So there's some dialogue going on. You can read it in the subtitles. I didn't really want to give anything away so thank me for that some of you might not even thank me push the button Amy. all right here's a little video editing I edited some pieces here to get straight you to the point it. we find a Bravo, gate Amy. and Amy's happy she accomplished a lot all right so you find some kind of device it doesn't work nobody's home and you put on this belt all right, a close a close up of her neck. <clears throat> okay, we go to another scene where Amy's a Can hacker. Off to the terminal. Nice. Need to find a way to open it up. She's hacking away. And uh oh, this little scratch. Man, she's still hacking. Well, for a little girl, you know, can't blame her. I'm sure she hasn't had that much experience. So here we are we're in another level. And we're roaming the hallways to Main Street. This could be New York. All right. So you can see there's little indicators letting you know what you need to do. Sometimes you have to use Amy to go into small areas. Now, these areas that you have to have Amy going into, they're big enough for your, for the main character to go into. And here he is. He's like, yo. Look at them tits. Mm mm mm. All right. So, there, this is there's a zombie. There's a zombie. Boom! Beat the crap out of him. Duck. Ooh! Bitch slap. He missed. She steps back and she whacks the crap out of him until he dissolves into nothingness. It would have been nice if they would have given you a flashlight or something. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You mean to tell me this lady cannot fit in there? Poor Amy. I could fit in that. And I'm 6'2". She's like, go ahead, Amy. If anything's in there, your ass is dead. Yeah, Alright, so she's looking at Amy. And the reason why I show this particular part, because you can still kind of control Amy while she's in another room. So she can activate and deactivate certain things. As you can see by the switch. And here I have no idea why it's so dark. There we go. We're going into some sort of... We're approaching a gate. And here there's a... A situation that I really wanted to show you guys. Because it's 
pretty messed up. So homeboy from the Bronx, he tells us, run. You think he stood? All of a sudden, he could run, boy, before he was limping. And homeboy, you know he's definitely from New York because look how fast he ran. And he left the two girls behind. What the hell's wrong with that dude? And all he could do is yell, run. So he's either from the Bronx or from Queens or something. And look. Because I can't even navigate through here. I'm trying to run, so in order to run, you gotta hold on the left bumper button. And you can tap X. And you can run a little faster. But because the controls seem somewhat clunky, you tend to bump into things. Or stop for no particular reason, as you're seeing right there. That's not me stopping. It's the control scheme itself, just stopping. And here I went straight to a ladder. Because there's a little puzzle. You have to coordinate with Amy in order to solve this puzzle. And I wanted to let you guys view how I solved the puzzle. Because at first it was like, what, what the hell, man? Now, pay attention to the lights. You notice that if the elevator is up in the top level, it's red. Right now it's moving, so both, both light indicators are red. When it hits the ground level, it turns green. Then it's safe to put Amy in there, and then you gotta click on the button again. And you get the idea how to solve this. Now, I wanted to show her going down the ladder. Now, I'm showing her directing Amy to stay. Kinda like Amy in Congo. Going back to that one. Yeah, I went there. I'm sorry. Alright, you hit the switch. Amy goes up. And you see that on the right side, there's an indicator with Amy's face. So that's letting you know that Amy has to solve that particular puzzle. So it, it kind of guides you through some of these puzzles. So they're not that difficult. But the control scheme had me a little... I'm frustrated. So proud of you, Amy. You did it. And you'll see there's one point. Yay, Amy's happy. Me, Amy, happy. So you can direct her back. And there's one point where I accidentally kept hitting the damn switch. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't video editing. So here we go. We're gonna hide for a particular reason. You're gonna hear Hello there. uh I'm alive. Baba Goosh or whatever his name is. He's Just screaming that he's not enough. sick. Homeboy's a liar. Because he just left us flat. So there you go. I got an achievement. I'd say bye, Amy, if you want. Me, I'm a little disappointed with it. Visually, it's not up to par. Control-wise, it can be frustrating. The audio is kind of cool with all the ambient sound. I'd say wait for it to go down in price. That's just my opinion. And poor Tony. Homeboy dead. Make sure you visit TalkingAboutGames.com if you want to hear more of me, or if not, bye.